Hello, I'm Nancy Stolman, and I am here to attempt to answer your questions about flash fiction. So, today's question is, what is a piece of advice or a revelation that permanently changed how you wrote flash fiction? I love this question, and I I had to think about this question for a long time because I get asked questions like this a lot. You know, like what's your favorite piece of flash fiction or, or what's the one piece of advice that you were really given that changed everything for you? And it's so hard for me to pick just one, frankly. Uh, so I tend to try to avoid these questions. But I realized when it comes to flash fiction advice or revelations, um, so much of what I learned about flash fiction came from reading a lot of flash fiction. So it wasn't so much that there was one piece of advice that changed everything for me. It was more uh, uh, just reading, especially when I was um, editing for uh, Fast Forward Press and we were putting it anthologies and I was just reading, 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 reading all sorts of submissions all the time. I think that the best thing you can do is just read a lot. Um, but I did want to share a little story with you. And this was um, a piece of advice that I was given in grad school back in 2008, I want to say, and it wasn't about flash fiction specifically, but it was really, um, it was a game changer for me in my own writing. So, I was in a class, and the class was around, I think it was called um, Accumulating a Larger Text, and so the way that the class was structured is the professor had us, um, we spent several weeks talking about beginnings and you know how to how to just like start with a bang and and you know the first ten pages and and all these things that really make a really engaging uh, beginning with lots of momentum and it was awesome and we uh, tried out all sorts of beginnings got all sorts of great ideas about beginnings um, and then we talked about middles and how to kind of keep the tension going over a longer span of time and how to add things and layer things and braid things and um, again amazing we're all excited and then comes the, the week that we begin to talk about endings and we're all like, yay, endings. Now we're, gonna, now we're gonna finish this thing. And the professor just threw us a massive curveball and she said, what if the middle was the ending? Ah. So like we're all hyperventilating and going back to our work and looking at the middle and of course we had thought that we weren't done. We thought that this was the middle and there was gonna be a whole nother thing coming. And so going back and re-looking at our work with the possibility that the middle was the end. And that, I would say, is the advice that I've taken. This is how I think about endings now. This is how I teach endings now, is that the middle is quite often already written, or excuse me, that the ending is quite often already written in the middle. And that's actually what happened to me in my first book, uh, Searching for Susie. Um, I had written kind of a, uh, I don't know, a cheesy sort of bow at the end of the story ending, and it wasn't until, you know, I was encouraged, I had really come to my, um, I had really come to flash fiction from a classical sort of place where I was, I had written um, novels and I was very classically minded with chapters and classical structure and endings that were uh, a little bit more, you know, bow-ish. And, um, and so it really wasn't until I was encouraged to start thinking about letting those endings hang a little more ragged, um, to not wrap everything up neatly. It's, it's not a sitcom. And, uh, and so when I was doing Searching for Susie, I ended up realizing like, well, what if this, this piece that I wrote that's about two thirds of the way through the book right now, um, but that everybody loves and that I love and that actually like resonates, um, what if that's just the ending? And I don't need to write all this other fluff to wrap things up neatly. And so that's, that's the way I approach endings now, particularly flash fiction endings. I always assume that the perfect ending has already been written and that you just have to find it. Whether that means like you go back into the story and you kind of grab the ending and you put it at the end, or whether that means kind of cutting backwards until you kind of stop. Um, one of my very favorite quotes, uh, which is attributed to Picasso, says, um, a painting is never finished, it just stops in interest. 
interesting places. And I find this to be the same with writing and with flash fiction, uh, that learning how to stop something in an interesting place that, that continues to vibrate off the page and in our minds, um, that's kind of the key for me. So, so that's my story. Um, I write about that story in my book, Going Short, which is going to be uh, coming out for pre-sale really soon. And um, I hope that it brings you some inspiration for your own work. See you next time.